Cesar, do you want us to keep this line off the road? I mean, actually, just to be in the presence, you know, that's right. Like, shit, yeah, I was hanging out with Robin Williams for about an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Roger that. If you can stay with him, I'll give you the heads up. Eleven more. What's the last name? Take the pictures yesterday over here. I may have to get with your command so I can get copies of our company. So I don't need this then, right? No, you don't. I'll get with your camp company. You doing, sir, Major? What are you doing? All right. It's time to get down there. Oh. I'm gonna know. Yeah, other by a major and then you come. My Marine. We have to stand up to see the one. Yeah. As long as you just give me a picture with him, I'm okay. Did you run in the whole show? Alright, E3! 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 We got 17 more! Let's go, just get in. First come, first serve. <laughs> Give me a quick count, staff serve, and I want it. We already have a quick count. Alright, go. One, two, three. Damn! How do you want to hear? I heard we should get the leg. Go, go. Just get back behind that little fucking Hey, that truck's pulling up right now. Good thing we're not back. Hey, give me two more if you want to get inside. Get in there now. Hey, you guys want to get inside? Get in there now. Hey, be considerate of the people behind you. Sit your best stand. Rock. Rock and sit around. Rock and Grab his hand or grab their hands, whatever. Just wait. Rock. <laughs> Well, it may very well have been a weather. 
<laughs> Soldier smiled again in the fucking theater to see Robin win. <laughs> share part of our life with us and for spending some of the holiday season uh, out here in Iraq. Uh, this is the most popular thing that will have happened in Al-Assad since we got air conditioners last summer. So it gives you, it gives you an, a, an idea of, uh, of how much we've looked forward to this. So uh, again, uh, sir, thank you very much. Thanks to all the folks who put this together, both uh, military and civilian. 
uh, the great team at the USO who does so much for us all out here. Uh, we appreciate this very much. Thank you. Thank you, good. Thank you very much. Okay, well, we're great. We're happy to be here with you, only for one reason. That's to say thanks for what you do. You do a terrific job. Now, anybody here from the United States Army? That's good. We got any Navy here? Any Air Force here? Come on, Air Force, do a little better than that. Well, nice to have both of you here. That's great. Let's see. Any Coast Guard here? Any Marines here? Okay. A few more Marines than we got Air Force, is what I figured out so far. That's good. We do appreciate what you've been doing over here. It's, uh, it's terrific work, level. challenging work. You're out here in the middle of nowhere, but you're making a hell of a difference from this, this big base. And uh, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate that. We appreciate the fact that you're not just courageous in battle, but you're also compassionate. And you take America's values with you wherever you go, and that means a lot around the world. It meant a lot of in Afghanistan. It's going to mean a lot here in Iraq. It means a lot in Iraq as we, as we move on. Um, to show you how much America cares, we got some folks here that the USO has helped put together to, uh, to help entertain you, maybe break, uh, break the routine here for just a little bit. But, uh, let me introduce Mr. Ned Powell, President and CEO of the uh, USO. <laughs> Infantryman, platoon leader from Vietnam in uh, Blake Clark uh, came along just to uh, not only entertain you guys but uh, and ladies, but to uh, protect us. He's our he's our protective detail. Brings all that good Vietnam training he's had. Um, of course, you saw Robin Williams walk in and Leanne Tweed. Now. <laughs> tell you, she is a real patriot. This is her third time into Iraq. Uh, she's been, been all over the Middle East. Anytime the USO or anybody asks her to come do this sort of thing, she'll do it. Um, her dad was a, a Vietnam vet, and she has a real affinity for, uh, well, used to date a Marine there for a while. It's okay. It's none of you guys. You could try, but it's over. <laughs> She's moved on. But anyway, we're just delighted to have Leanne here. She's going to kind of be the master of ceremonies, and uh, I see some folks already got the magazine and got it signed. So Leanne, why don't you come on up here and give one? <laughs> Again, we thank you for what you do. We really do appreciate it. video cameras going on right now. I see all of you out there. Looks like one big Christmas tree. All right, what are you guys all back here? What are you, how you doing? How did they get to be up on the stage? Because they're looking at the backside the whole time. That's what. Well, we have Marine, oh wait, some Army guys too? Well, you snuck up here, didn't you? Uh huh. Anyways, well, we just came here to say uh, to say thank you. And um, as a general, that's the first time somebody said that to me this whole tour. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. We love you. Um, you know, uh, I know this is a very, very, very difficult time for all of you. I, I know it's probably nothing more that you want than to be at home with your family and your friends and your kids and your brothers and sisters and everybody during the holidays and uh, you know you guys have done a good job of you know getting the Christmas cheer up here and in the chow hall and putting up stuff and I know you know you'd probably rather be any place but here but uh, the USO brings the message of we try to bring a little bit of peace of home with us to you guys 
And, um, you know, a lot of times people will ask you, well, why do you come or why are you here? Or, you know, I say, oh, I'm going back to Iraq. You know, this is my third time here in the last year. And, you know, they say, aren't you scared? You know, that we, we see things on TV every day. And I'm not scared enough to not come because I thank all of you, men and women, from the bottom of my heart in uniform. You know, we can't do what we do as entertainers and live in Hollywood and do the things that we do and, you know, making movies or being on television and you know we have these freedoms because of what you men and women have done and the, and the people before you and uh we just want you to know that everyone at home we haven't forgotten about you and i know the media sometimes can get a little down and you feel like sort of you're isolated i have lots of friends in the military i actually saw a couple of my friends that were pilots a couple of days ago i know there's a lot of people here that i know too and you know i get emails and, and they tell us gosh, man, everybody just seems so against us and what we're doing, and I know it becomes a drag, and when you're here for three, four, five months, nine months, a year, and then you get extended, you know, I know it's tough, and uh, all of us came here to, to bring ourselves to show you and to prove it. You know, a lot of guys come up to me, and they're like, why are you even here? And I'm like, well, I'm here right now for this purpose, to talk to you and to say hello and maybe sign an autograph or take a picture or give a hug or, you know, if anybody has... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I did request a, I did get grant a request. Somebody's birthday was the other day and I gave him a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. Any birthdays out there? Yeah. <laughs> Six days? See, I can't tell if y'all are pulling my chain or not. Well, <laughs> okay, we'll discuss that later when I'm done signing autographs. But um, really, though, thank you so much. Um, this is my sixth U.S. tour all around. And, you know, um, Ned at the USO is, is, and everyone, you guys, the USO really has, has done a lot for, I think, you guys and, and a lot of times the families back home. Um, you know, these Live Strong bracelets that Lance Armstrong started uh, has kind of caught on and everybody sort of seemed to be making these bands now. And the USO has one that says support our troops, this green one. And they sell them at home. And I think the last week alone, when they just first started selling them, they sold over 110,000. And uh, that money goes to getting you guys calling cards, opening up canteens. We're opening up a new USO um, room in Afghanistan in a couple days. And you know all of the USO places inside the airports when you guys are deploying or when you're coming home, they're for your families. So um, you know we're doing all we can. I, I send out tons of care packages. I write letters. I email. I get all my girlfriends and my friends to do the same thing. So uh, any of you guys out there, if there's nobody getting mail or any of that stuff, please let me know. Seriously. <laughs> I don't know. I have a feeling that a lot of you get mail. But, um, you know, we're, we're just here to say thank you. And, and I'm going to sort of MC the show. And, um, you know, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. My dad says thank you, too. He always he said, put me in your pocket when you take me over there and say thank you. And he's still a great American and a great patriot that served, too. So. Thank you. All right. Y'all ready to start this show? Hey, how many football fans we got out there? Any Redskin fans? There you go. What? Eagle. Whatever. Eagles. Shoot. <laughs> Let me introduce to you a guy that uh, probably needs no introduction anyways, but uh, he's a multi-time pro bowler, has won two Super Bowl rings, a Super Bowl MVP, has done things that a lot of guys ha can even dream about when you're a quarterback, but he's also known for the drive. He's known for making those fourth quarter pushes up the field, scoring and winning for the Denver Broncos. You guys give it up for Mr. John Elway! I know I'm not as pretty as Leanne. Not nearly as good to not nearly as good to look at, but uh,
States and, and everybody back there is behind you and especially me and when I was given the opportunity to come over here um, I jumped at the opportunity because of uh, the, the things that you're doing for us hopefully we can return some of it and uh, at least maybe make part of this day go by and, and remove your minds from I know it was uh, a, a lot of heartache and, and uh, a lot of nervous times for you so it's truly an honor for me to be here and I, I just want to say that uh, I'm proud to be an American I'm proud because of you guys and what you afford us at home. I can tell you, I was lucky enough to play in five Super Bowls. And uh, the first one, we, in 1986, we played the Giants. And uh, we were in that game till halftime. Hey, tell about the Redskins, John. And then Leanne's team, we played the next year. The Redskins. The Redskins, we're in that game till the end of the first quarter. <laughs> then we missed a year. Then we went back and we played the 49ers and we were out of that one. Before. We were out of that one before we got off the bus. <laughs> then it was a long dry spell. We finally got back in 1998 and played the Packers. <laughs> We were able to win that one, and then the next year we went back and played the Falcons. We were able to win that one. But the point to my whole story is, is that when you go to Super Bowls or you go to war, or you go anywhere, you want to go with the best team, and I and we are on the best fucking team. Yeah. Funny when I got uh, uh, started. Uh, Thorpe called me and asked me if I was, or uh, Captain Thorpe called and asked if I was interested in going over to, uh, coming over here to see you guys. And I said, well, you know, could I take a little bit of time to think about it? I'm thinking, you know, I'd take a big swallow and go over there and a lot of things going on over there. And so I took that night and talked to my kids and they were for it. So I called Captain Thorpe back and I said, yeah, I'd love to go. I said, who else is going? He says, uh, Leanne Tweed. I said, that's a good thing. <laughs> the play Clark's gone. The man of Waterboy, the coach of Waterboy, great guy, great comedian. That's a good thing. And then the, uh, probably the funniest guy in the universe ever is going, Robin Williams. I said, that's a good thing. <laughs> so I said, my next question was, okay, uh, I don't dance. I can't dance. I can't sing, I'm not funny, 
<laughs> and I'm definitely not beautiful like Leanne, so what the hell would you like me to do? <laughs> he says, why don't you throw some footballs? Cause I, and I said, you know what, I can still wing it. I've been out a little bit, but I can still wing it, so we got some <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I went to the 
Anyway, it's nice to be here, and uh, where the fuck is this place? <laughs> All the I, under I, under I understand that there's an oasis out here that uh, Abraham used to go to. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. You go there now, and you get worms. And I guess that was Abraham's miracle. And I, like I said, like they said, I did. I, I served in Vietnam. Born and raised in Georgia, and I fought in Vietnam. It's like being punished for the same thing twice. <laughs> I, used, I used to have flashbacks in Vietnam. <laughs> That's the part of Georgia I'm from. I was, I was an infantry platoon leader. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, that's kind of scary. Ain't it? I was leading troops in combat. <laughs> the motto of the infantry was, follow me. I, I changed that. Oh, you guys go ahead. <laughs> I got to get out this paperwork. I got I to fill out the morning report. Go ahead. A little, a little different war then, a little bit different. Not, not a whole lot different, but a little bit different. Uh, one thing, we didn't have the support of the people back home like you guys do, because you're going to get so laid when you get home. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. We just got oh. fucked. We didn't get laid. <laughs> they were, you know, they were, they were always asking us to do shit like, uh, take this hill. I was, I, I, why, why? I, I don't want that. <laughs> They said, well, what, how, what do you suggest we do, Lieutenant Clark? I went, how about a timeshare? <laughs> they can have it on Thursday. <laughs> I tried to talk them out of a lot of things. In fact, one of the things that you said, you, could, you, you guys have good, such great co communication. Now, we had those old PRC 25s, and, and you could always get, get uh, over. <laughs> <laughs> I could always say, I didn't get the order. <laughs> But uh, it's tougher now. It's tougher now because, uh, you know, you, you got these fucking crazy bastards out there. What do they call? What do you guys? We call Charlie. We call him Charlie. What do you guys call him? Haji. 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 Okay, Haji. I have to remember that. Haji. All right. <laughs> we call we call him Charlie. And you guys are in Charlie time zone. I know that much. <laughs> I learned, yeah, sorry. Hey, you might want to jot that down. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's different now. You got this uh, Osama bin Laden guy there searching for it. Can't seem to track his ass down. I, yeah, well, no thanks. <laughs> I live in California, but I maintain my heterosexuality. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's hiding, because you guys uh, want to fuck him. I, <laughs> I mean, how hard is it? First, first, I have a theory on this. If you, if you notice this, you're watching CNN, it's Osama bin Laden, O-S-S-A-M-A. -S -S you pick up the newspaper, it's Osama bin Laden, U -S 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 They can't even spell his fucking name. <laughs> what, did they catch some guy? looks like, all right, we got it. This is Osama. Oh, no, I'm not Osama, I'm Osama. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> they can't find this guy, but Martha Stewart's in jail. <laughs> I know I rest easier at night. <laughs> You never know if she's going to break into a federal office building and redecorate it. <laughs> Fucking deco terrorist that she is. <laughs> so they're saying they can't find, I mean, this guy's a six foot eight Arab with a kidney problem. You can't find him? <laughs> Just find a camel with a kidney dialysis machine on it and follow him. <laughs> or better yet, get, get that crocodile hunter guy. He can find his ass, can he? <laughs> This week's show is searching for Osama bin Laden. <laughs> right, right. Osama bin Laden is an Al Qaeda. <laughs> and Al Qaeda live in the desert, in the rocky desert, in the high mountains. So that's why we came here to the desert in the rocky mountains. <laughs> right there during the day when it's hot and the sun's out, but more importantly when the American choppers are flowing around. <laughs> Al Qaeda like to hide in caves. I found a cave over here. Let's see if there's an Al-Qaeda in it. <laughs> right here. Right. Let me cry. Yeah. I'll make a noise. At the mouth of the cave, we'll see if there's anything in there. Get to America. Ooh, he's a grumpy Al-Qaeda. Well, he's a beauty. But I can tell by 
has coloration he's not Osama bin Laden. He has a high rank in Al Qaeda, he's got a beard and an AK-47. He's very dangerous. Hand me me baby. <laughs> was killed in Okinawa in uh, 1945. I was named for him. I wanted to be in the Marines, but uh, they took one look at me and said, and we ain't that hard up. <laughs> so I, I became an Army, Army officer, and uh, I just want to say, thank you. Oh. I, just, <laughs> I just want to say the one thing that I do say in, in all of my acts at the end of, of every show, as I tell the people, no matter what they feel about this war, never turn their back on the American soldier again. God bless you, and God will bless what you're doing. Thank you. 
The guys up in the back are hacked. They're like, I'm a sniper. I can get you from here. <laughs> Do they, is this a movie theater, too, or does it just have holes in it for no reason? <laughs> they show movies like Romancing the Bone and <laughs> Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> This is nice. I also have, uh, thank you for the food. I didn't have to eat the MRE, which is, damn, that's bad for your ass. <laughs> that's a meal ready to excrete. Thank you. <laughs> also, it's so nice to have the dust down because when you swallow the dust and an MRE, you can basically shit an adobe brick. <laughs> the good news is you can build your own house with your own feces. <laughs> So nice, and they, you have no alcohol. Obviously, here you have the, uh, you have the what was it, the non-alcoholic beer? Beer, 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 shit, fake beer, beer, fake beer. Yes, that's it, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like masturbating with an oven mitt. Really. <laughs> fake beer. Yeah, I'm so loaded. How many beers did you have? Four <laughs> hundred. <laughs> I can write my name pretty much all over the country. Glad <laughs> to be here. Let me just take one quick sip here. Keep hydrating, because I learned if you don't hydrate, you basically urinate like <laughs> Okay, okay. Pretty much I'm 50, I'm urinating like that all the time. Have to be very careful. Oh, this is so, and there's all this camouflage. It's cool. You've got the Marines wearing digital camouflage. <laughs> it's like your whole body's in witness protection. That's so cool. <laughs> Don't you can't see me. I love the guys though. The, everybody else is in desert camouflage. There's one guy wearing like jungle green, and I guess he didn't get the memo. <laughs> Either that or they have deer hunting in Iraq. <laughs> I like the green one. It's like if you have green, you're going. It's a fucking desert, man. <laughs> And you're going, I'm hiding behind the one bush. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. <laughs> I'm looking for terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> Semper Fi, do you know that? <laughs> Ow! That's a scary noise. <laughs> you hear, Ow! Okay. <laughs> Ow! Even the dogs are going, let me out, I'll fuck someone. <laughs> <laughs> As the, uh, as the basic, I'll put this down here just in case. Little Christmas decoration. <laughs> and the one tree in all of Iraq going. <laughs> the one pine tree planted 10 years ago. <laughs> oh, you okay, sir? Can I look over this way? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, nice hat. <laughs> Many of you will have clothing that won't fit. I think. Oh, thank you. I'm hand that back now. The guy's going, great, I have to pay for it now. <laughs> so I guess uh, we heard the news that you need armor plating, and uh, we're trying to get as much as we can. And, uh, you guys, if you have armor plating, that's good. If not, there's folks in Tennessee going, I'll build you a fucking truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll build a big ass Hummer that just, you can bass fish. <laughs> yeah. Hunt from the bike, it's just wild shit. <laughs> I love the fact that when people who hunt, they, they kill the thing and basically they stuff it right away. <laughs> bear, I mean bear, usually it's a, you know, somewhere like a deer and they all, or a moose, they cut off the head, they put it in the bar and the moose has that same expression. Is that a gun? <laughs> Then they stuff every animal, even a squirrel, to make it look like a badass motherfucker squirrel. <laughs> I shot that one going for the tree. <laughs> and I know that somewhere out there, there's a bear, a big bear that's just waiting in the woods, and some guy's gonna be out there like, yeah, I'm gonna get a bear, and the bear just goes, whack! <laughs> knocks the gun out of his hand, and it goes, what are you gonna do now, bubba? <laughs> you know, normally I'd maul you, but today, I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fuck you long and hard. I'm gonna stuff you like you stuffed my brother. I'm gonna leave you in the cave like this. So everybody else who wants to dress like Elmer Fudd and come here with a gun, just see your sorry red ass. 
Also, uh, back home, uh, you've seen uh, there's been a brief problem with uh, steroids again. Uh, baseball players taking steroids, and you know it's drugs, uh, not like the old days where Dell Strawberry snorted third base. But <laughs> it was, uh, I can understand doing maybe a little speed with baseball makes the game go a little quicker. Get that uh, running on the base. <laughs> you go to every game. Out. Okay, next base. <laughs> There was a guy named Catfish Hunter actually pitched a baseball game on acid. Now that's really crazy. <laughs> that's basically where you get the ball and the ball's going, How you doing? <laughs> Starts to wind up for the pitch. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, the catch is looking like this. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? <laughs> Scary! You always find out they're doing some weird drug, some animal tranquilizer or what. Are you taking horse hormones? <laughs> <laughs> no, why? The Australians had an Olympic swimmer who was six foot eight with webbed feet. So basically the Australians said, fuck drugs, we're doing genetic engineering. <laughs> Bring over Timmy the kangaroo boy. Here we go, don't be afraid. When you come back. It's always bizarre though, the little Ethiopian runners and the Kenyan runners. Are you doing drugs? No, we're just looking for food. <laughs> I don't have a car, I have to run 20 miles to get a fucking chicken. <laughs> but for me, my favorite part of the Olympics is uh, besides beach volleyball, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, any sport involving a thong, I'm in. <laughs> I know a lot of guys are going, I love this sport. Do you mind if I just put it in slow motion? <laughs> Basically, a thong is like anal floss. You know, you, you see that when she goes up to Spike, you're going, can you kids leave the room? Daddy needs some quiet time. <laughs> some scary stuff. And then they also have those outfits, the new swimmers, swimming thing where they have a little thing that cuts right above here. Speed? It's more than a speedo, Tommy. It's a full body condom. <laughs> you were very quick to say that. Like, speedo! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it's basically this little thing, it just barely covers here. I, I, I always was worried that the guy would come off the blocks, <clears throat> in the water, and the suit goes, swam! <laughs> Bobby, he touched the wall, but I don't think he used his hand. <laughs> Oh, he's doing backstroke now. <laughs> I have never seen a periscope like that, Phil. <laughs> Scary but true. And then you have girls' gymnastics. It's actually women's gymnastics, but I think it's basically living proof that the Olympics has daycare. <laughs> you have these little tiny girls doing amazing things that even teamsters would go, be careful, baby. <laughs> doing the, oh, they're on an eye beam like this. They do the double, triple backflip. <laughs> Land like this. Back again. Boom. Land again. One hand. One finger. Then they do the dismount. One foot goes to the side. You're fucked. Oh, no. Too bad, Susie. You lose the Wheaties box. No. Crazy shit. I have a friend. Lance Armstrong competes in the Tour de France. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Yeah. He wins the sixth Tour de France, and the French are still going, he's on drugs of some kind. <laughs> it's chemotherapy, you ass. <laughs> They're standing by the road going, he's got one testicle, he's aerodynamic. <laughs> Everybody cut off your ball, you'll be quick out, do it! <laughs> the French are always pissed off, they're pissed off, we won't fight your war here in Iraq, fuck all you, we will not fight. But can we have some oil? <laughs> Just a small thing. Oh, God damn it. Look, you Americans. Fuck all of you. We hate you. You're crazy. You crass people. The Germans are here. Hello, Americans. <laughs> I love you. I love you. You've been here a really long fucking time. <laughs> we have a, uh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Forgot English, like how long? <laughs> how many years you been here? One. <laughs> we have a governor now of California. Yes, Arnold. He would he would be wish he could be here, but he's home in California waxing his nipples. <laughs> he would be here, but you know it's very crazy when he first started running for election. You were going, oh, this 
a fucking joke. <laughs> then when he got elected, it was like, no. <laughs> he was running against a porn actress and a midget. <laughs> and everybody around the world's going, okay, I give up. <laughs> and the Italians are going, elect the porn actress, don't be afraid. <laughs> you elect her, you don't have a sex scandal, she fucks everybody. <laughs> don't be afraid. <laughs> Then Arnold gets elected, it's kind of crazy, it's like that now, California. It's wild, a big man working away, and all these old Germans are going, it's so easy. <laughs> you don't need tanks or artillery, you just repeat phrases from fucking movies. <laughs> How weird is that? It's crazy, he's got that wife. She's so beautiful, honey, but have something to eat, come on. <laughs> You're so skinny. <laughs> And uh, as he said, Martha Stewart, we talked about that, and uh, Michael's in trouble again, it's always bizarre. Uh, <coughs> those of you who don't know Michael Jackson, it's, uh, you're old enough now that you won't be going there. I'm going to get my children quiet. <laughs> sit down, sit down, I'm going to get It feels like we're about to have a sing-along, like, kumbaya. <laughs> But with Michael, you know why he wears the gloves. It's uh, no fingerprints, number one. <laughs> number two, Michael is starting to be, he says he's had no surgery, and I'm going, wow. Uh, no, I've had no surgery at all. <laughs> Michael's starting to look like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's like, no, children are friends. No, children fuck children. <laughs> trial because uh, prison's not going to go well. <laughs> I think somebody's just waiting going, bring me the little white woman. <laughs> Speaking of that is, uh, you know, who, who you caught a year ago. Uh, remember when you caught Sodom, he was, uh, came out of that hole and I went, shit, that's Nick Nolte. <laughs> hey, that's Jesus, I just know. Got on a plane and fuck it, came out of a hole. $70,000, next thing I know, there's a Marine picking lice out of my beard, goddamn. He had balls, though. I came out of the hole going, I want to negotiate. What? <laughs> Step over here, I'd like to meet Robert Blake. <laughs> it's pretty insane, and he wouldn't, I'm not going to tell you anything. Fuck all of you, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Okay, uh, Sodom, I'd like you to introduce you to your new cellmate. This is Earl. <laughs> <laughs> you my bag daddy now, motherfucker. <laughs> Play a game, I'm gonna find everything. <laughs> this scary moment there. What did I suddenly go Scottish in the middle of that? <laughs> it's so nice having a whole front row, like sitting at an NRA convention. <laughs> it's just like this people going, if you're not funny, I know where you are. <laughs> nice to see you here. <laughs> but you do have the big car. I noticed that the used car lot out there is pretty cute. You have uh, you got the Hummers, you got the Striker, which is pretty much the ultimate fucking car. <laughs> I say, you know, a lot of people back home have Hummers. They go, oh, you pussy little bastards. Get a Bradley, fucker. <laughs> I can't wait till someone starts buying the first civilian Bradleys going, I need a parking space. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I have one now. Kids, we're going to the store. Back out of the car. Get to there. Both of you, go for the ice cream now. <laughs> She's on the twin fifties. She will cover you till you get to the back. Her sister's watching the side. <laughs> Envelop, encircle, take out the butcher. <laughs> but things aren't that bad. <laughs> things are still mellow back there. I keep talking like this, it's so strange. <laughs> One final photo. <laughs> <coughs> This is wild, coming here and I see this place, I go, what's there? And all of a sudden there's a big, giant hole. <laughs> I'm going, oh fuck. <laughs> what does Al-Assad stand for? Anybody tell me what Al-Assad means? Lion. The lion! Oh, Shithole. Shit <laughs> Actually, it is a combination of the two. The lion's shithole. <laughs> You're, it's not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. 
Filak Allah Rimi Salam Efelamala Rinalam Malakal Salim Efe Shalama Rehlam Outtakes from Al Jazeera. Al Falam She's a Mala Rimina Minvan Mutuma. What are you doing? Shh, move away. Don't do this. Christmas tree. The fuck is that here? She's a min. It's about time to wander out. This is so cool. Fuck the electricity. <laughs> We've had kind of a fun, kind of quiet time. This is a very quiet time. I feel like we're playing golf. <laughs> Bob's on the third tee. This would be great if you had a golf commentator in the bedroom. Bob's uh, playing with a nipple now. <laughs> uh, I think he's going to try some more foreplay. Let's wait and see what happens. <laughs> I always wanted the guy who does soccer to do golf one time. Oh, that'd be so cool. One time. This is the guy. He's putting. The ball's going towards the hole. And watch all those old waspy motherfuckers go, oh dear Christ. Because all those guys are terrified. It's their last resort. We have these incredible things until Tiger Woods. Yeah! Son of a black man and a Thai woman, crouching tiger, hidden putter. <laughs> because all these guys are basically going, oh no, my God, how did they learn to play? We wouldn't let him join, dear Christ. <laughs> Their worst fear is a golf cart with big speakers going, <laughs> I'm, gonna play, I'm playing through, whether you're a Gentile or a Jew. Back up, motherfucker. <laughs> Because it's basically a sport invented by drunken Scots. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are people who drank so much whiskey that their idea of a musical instrument is a guy playing a cat with his finger up his ass. <laughs> what are you doing? Liver dance. Well, here's my, what, here's my idea for a fucking sport. Yes. I whack a ball into a gopher hole. <laughs> oh, that's cool. No, fuck cool. No, I whack the ball, it goes way far. Oh, you mean like croquet? Not croquet, you little pussy boy. <laughs> I whack the ball like really hard, it goes a long way. Oh, like bowling. No, you bastard. <laughs> he gets into the grass and you whack away with your little wooden stick till you feel like you're gonna have a heart attack. Fuck. We'll call it that, a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> and then you keep banging at the ball, hitting the ball and whacking away until you feel like Timmy the damaged boy, wagging away. <laughs> Shit, that's it. We'll call it a handicap. <laughs> and, and you think you'd never put it right there, but no one puts shit in the way like trees and bushes. So you wander around like a three-legged dog, hitting your little ball. <laughs> and then, finally, at the very end, we'll put it right there. We'll have a little bit of shaved grass, like a Brazilian pussy. Yeah. And we'll put a little flag to give you fucking hope. And there you know, but now we'll fuck with you again because we'll put a pool on a sandbox to fuck you up again. And you do this one time, fuck no. 18 fucking days. Take care of yourself, members, if you get a tattoo, especially if you get a kanji tattoo or any Chinese symbols, be very careful. I had a friend got a tattoo, an interesting tattoo. I said, what does that tattoo mean? He said, golden warrior. I brought a Chinese friend. Chinese friend said, he's not golden warrior, it says ass monkey. <laughs> okay, another friend had a beautiful tattoo, it said right here, it was in Sanskrit. He said, what does that mean? Power, power and soul. And a basically a Hindu friend said, I'd say power and soul. It says deliveries on Monday. <laughs> So, now he has Ask Monkey who delivers on Monday. <laughs> so be very careful when you get your tattoo because you got the worst thing for your whole fucking life. Be very careful. And now, before I head off over here, I want to thank the electricians. We, um... <laughs> you guys did a good job. <laughs> but in a weird way, this has been kind of really <coughs> sweet, fun, intimate, quiet time. And fuck it, you guys are doing an amazing job. That's why we came here. We want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Santa's coming in. We're just bolting on the iron right now. <laughs> He's got two elves manning a 50 in the back. <laughs> and the reindeers are dropping flares out of their ass. It's going to be good. 
So I came here to wish you Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, and goddamn, you guys are the best, Semper Fi, and also Army, British people, Australian people, all the people, coalition people. You are the best. Thank you all. Woo!